righteousness at Christ's expense. The grace of God is not generic. There is a dimension of grace. Grace is God choosing to bless us rather than curse us as our sin deserves. From Latin, price paid. Mercy is loving the unlovable and forgiving the unforgivable. So the grace of God gives you the ability to accept, to act, to appreciate, and to adore Christ. Realizing that forgiveness is setting a prisoner free and discovering that that prisoner is me. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello! Thank you so much for logging in. Uh, my name is Jan. I'm your servant here every Tuesday night. And uh, I'm just logging in, number one, to say hi to you. And I pray that the Lord is blessing you right now. And it's not by any accident that you're here in this live stream. I pray that you may receive a grace from the Lord and may you receive His overflowing love in your life. And uh, secondly, uh, before we jump into worship, before we listen to the talk, secondly, I just want to congratulate Miss Heideline Diaz, our fellow feaster, first gold uh, medalist sa Olympics. Grabe, sobra nakaka-proud. And uh, I just want to say thank you to you, Heideline, and uh, thank you to your hard work, sa resilience mo, sa fighting through uh, adversities, and you really, truly inspire me. You inspired a lot of Filipinos. Kitang-kita naman sa Facebook. Kitang-kita sa lahat ng social media. And uh, I, I thank you so much and for 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 doing your best and uh, for inspiring us all. And one of my favorite pictures is actually this one. Uh, nakita ko sa Facebook ito na uh, 2008. Uh, second to the last siya. Tapos in 2012, she did not finish. Then 2016, it was a silver medal, which is a big honor already to the country. But you did not give up. 20, 2020 to 2021, a gold medal. You brought home the gold. So thank you so much for you, Heidelin. May the Lord continue to bless you. May Mother Mary continue to guide you, protect you always. Marami salamat, mabuhay ang Pilipinas. And now as we come to worship, I pray that you bring the same resilience. Maybe you're, you're, you're experiencing so much pain or so much trial in your life. Let's be inspired, of course, by, by Heidelin. And let's be inspired by, by how Jesus works in, uh, work in her life and Jesus is working in your life as well. God bless you. May we have a blessed feast. Good evening, feast! Welcome to another Feast at Home session. I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you guys have been taking care. Tonight, we're in the presence of a God who can do miracles in our lives. Do you believe that God can do miracles in your life? Yeah, don't worry if you're having a hard time believing it. You might be asking yourselves, miracles? In times like these? Really? Don't worry, I get where you're coming from. And so did the crowd in last Sunday's gospel. Last Sunday, the gospel was about Jesus feeding the 5,000. And I'm sure all of us know that gospel very well. And as I was reading it, one thing stood out. When we talk about the feeding of the 5,000, we always think about how Jesus was able to perform a huge miracle. But one thing that I overlooked was how in order for Jesus to perform that miracle, a little boy had to go up to him and offer him his fish and his bread. That little boy offered him everything he had in the moment. And believe me, believe you, me, it wasn't as big as you would think it to be to perform a miracle. Just five loaves and two fish? That can't feed 5,000 people. That can't feed, that can't make a miracle. But Jesus was still able to do it because of that. Because of that small sacrifice, Jesus was not only able to bless the little boy's life, but the life of the crowd behind him, of everyone in that area. And so again, let me ask you this tonight. Do you believe that God can work miracles in your life? And are you looking for a miracle in your life tonight? A miracle for the people around you? Then if you are, let's follow the example of that little boy. Let's give not what we can give tomorrow, not what we can give next week, not what we can promise God next month, but let's give God everything that we have tonight. Amen? No matter how small it may be, may it be your fears, your doubts, 
whatever you're thinking of in this very moment. Let's give it up to God in these next few moments of worship. And let's allow the God of miracles to take what we have in this very moment, whatever we can offer him. And let's allow him to work miracles tonight, not just in our lives, but in the lives of people around us through our sacrifice. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, why don't you join me as we come together to celebrate this amazing, amazing worship, the praising of Jesus' name, the God of miracles, the God over our lives. As we come in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Jesus, everything tonight. Father God, we offer you everything. We lift up to you our hands. We lift up to you our hearts. We lift up to you our fears, our worries, our burdens, our thoughts, everything, Lord, in our lives that we need you to take. We offer them up to you now because we know, God, that you are a God of miracles. You are a God of healing. You are a God who will make a way. You are a God who makes, who makes a way. You are a God who turns the smallest things into the greatest things. And brothers and sisters, let's make this our commitment tonight. Tonight, God, take everything from us. Take what we have in this moment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. So we sing this. Take my heart, take my soul, take my mind and I will. Give my thoughts, give my all, give my life to follow you. Take my hands, take my breath, take my dreams and I will. 
welcome to Feast at Home, Makati District. Again, my name is Jan. I'm your servant here on a Tuesday night. So maraming salamat for being here. Thank you. And I miss all of you. I miss my Feast Makati Salcedo family. I'm praying for you. I hope that you're well and healthy wherever you may be. And before I continue, I want to thank, of course, our worship team, our amazing, amazing worship team, and to all the servants and editors behind the scene. So maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. And of course, thank you to you for being here, for the decision that you're making to watch this and I hope that you stay until the last okay so sana wag kang iwan <laughs> kasi I continue to pray for you uh, despite of the COVID pandemic uh, you know the Delta variant yung mga news nakakatakot so sana extra ingat po tayo tas ngayon medyo bumabagyo pa uh, nung weekend ang daming flood here and there nagka earthquake pa pero tulog ako nun <laughs> so In, 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 in any disaster, I hope that you may feel God's protection and God's grace and God's embrace to you today. Okay? So as, as a Feast Salcedo family, we continue to pray for your jobs. We continue to pray for your professions. We continue to pray for your businesses. We continue to pray for your love lives. We continue to pray for those who are engaged, for those who are uh, planning to get married, for those who are planning to be single pa rin. I pray for you every day. So thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you very soon face to face, face bump to face bump. Na, and we'll, we'll eat taho together and uh, we'll eat, you know, whatever is served there. Excited na ako sa araw na yon. But for now, let's just tisin lang natin tong video video na ito. Hindi rin ako sanay talaga. Pinapaganda ko lang ng konte para hindi nakakaya sa inyo. Papolo-polo pa ako dito. <laughs> Pero... I miss you, kayo. So I hope that you're ready and alert and alive to receive God's word. We are still in the series of side A and side B. We'll talk about commitment and class. Ayan, talk number 15 na po tayo. If you want to review all uh, the pro, uh, the previous talks in 1 to 14, uh, just go to YouTube, go to Feast Makati Salcedo, and uh, you'll watch all of the episodes there. Again, maraming maraming salamat. We are still here exploring this beautiful, beautiful gospel of Matthew. But we are already in Matthew 19. Okay, so if you have your devices there or your physical Bibles there like this, and ito pala. So <laughs> just open your Bibles to Matthew 19. Okay? And again, I invite you to share this live stream. Uh, sana kung gano'ng kadami ang viewers natin, gano'n din kadami ang shares natin. Be a blessing to your Facebook friends and allow God to comfort you today. Let's now pray our favorite prayer at the feast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Matthew 19:16. it says there, Someone came to Jesus with this question. Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? Okay, so there was this young man who went to Jesus, Lord, how do I get to heaven? Yun lang ang tanong niya. Baka yun din ang tanong niyo, or baka may iba kang tanong kay Jesus sa araw na ito. And I pray that whatever your questions to the Lord right now, bring it here at the feast and let Him surprise you. May you receive His blessing over your life today. Okay, expect nothing less tonight but a miracle from Him. Father in heaven, thank you for my friend. Bless my friend as he or she listens to your word today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Can you help me type in the chat, please? Kung so ko lang malaman ko nandiyan kayo, amen. Sige, yun lang, amen, amen, amen. 
<laughs> if this is your first time, welcome to The Feast. I hope that you'll make this your home. So we are live every Tuesday night. So may mga sessions po yan every 7.30, 9.30, 11.30. I extended it to 1.30 a.m. and to 3.30 a.m. Para sa mga, baka may manood lang, okay? And then we have an after feast after the 7.30 p.m. session. So join the after feast if you want to meet more friends. And uh, the Zoom link is here. And thank you so much for being here. And again, I invite you to share this live stream. And for our giving, watch this video. Hey there. Gusto mo bang yumaman? Sino pa naman ang ayaw yumaman? Tanging isang mangmang lamang ang ayaw yumaman. Actually, may mga tao na kahit meron silang vow of poverty, nagdadasal pa rin sila ng provisions para sa kanilang gawain. Kasi naman, lahat ng gawain, lalo-lalo ng mga gawain para kay Lord, kailangan ng datong. Paano tatayo ang isang simbahan ko?
I know is this, that God is calling you to do something. God is calling you to do something. He calls you to be in a relationship with Him. And I hope and I pray that this relationship with Him is so transformative that it makes you His love in this world. What do I mean? That this relationship, if you say that you have this relationship with Jesus, it's so transformative, it's so powerful that you become Jesus in this world. Kasi kung puro pagmamahal mo lang tapos wala galing sa Diyos, ay, mababurn out ka and ma-empty ka. You must have His life in you. And that's what you give to others. So as I, as I close our message, as I close our feast today, choose people over things. Love people over things. Wake up and then choose to love people first before things. When you have meeting, choose to listen first before you implement something. In in the in during meal times, the most important person are there in front of you already. Stop looking at your phone. Love people over things, and you'll see the amazing love of God will flow through you. Let's pray. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and Father in Heaven, thank you so much for my friend who's listening to us right now. In Jesus' mighty name, guide him, guide her. I pray that you send my friend out to be the loving message to the world. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again. Thank you for being here. Again, thank you so much to all of the servants, the worship team, the editors, sa lahat po behind the scene, working so much for serving, for loving this feast. Thank you so much. 
And uh, again, I invite you to give. Here are the many ways that you can give here at the feast. Salamat po for giving. Thank you so much for supporting. Next is after feast. Let's talk about this. This happens only after the 7.30 p.m. session. So around 8.30 p.m. Just dive into the Zoom. We are ready to serve you. And last is we have a very special announcement from the Jewels Conference. Watch this video. Hello, ladies. Hi, beautiful women. We're so excited to invite you to Jewels Feast Makati District. I'm Tessa Borromeo, wife of Randy, the district builder of Feast Makati, Tagig, and Mandaluyo. And I'm the mother of Ziki. And I am Maan Magtuba. I'm the wife of Eb Magtuba, feast builder of Feast Mandaluyo. And I am the mother of Eli and Via. So, Sis Tessa, what is this Jewels all about? No, you, you know what, Maan? Jewels is Jesus in every woman empowered to love and to serve. It is the women's ministry of the Light of Jesus family, a charismatic community founded by Bo Sanchez. You know what, Maan? Jewels is just not a ministry. We aim for it to be a movement, a movement of empowered women leading other women to be closer to Jesus. And we want to walk with them in their journey in life be it emotional, personal, spiritual, or in ministry. Oh, that's great. And you know what? Here at Feast Makati District, we will have our own jewels. Yes. yes. We will have the Feast Makati District Facebook page where you can connect and get inspiring messages about love, hope, and empowerment. And we are so thrilled to announce that we have created our own group called the High is where you can connect, support, and inspire other women in their walk with Christ. Inspire each other as jewels, right? Think of the Hive as your tambayan, your safe place. A place for busy bees like you and me. Yes. Right, Sis Tessa? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we created the Hive um, to motivate and inspire women as we walk in life in Christ together. Yeah, regardless of age or your season in life, you are welcome to join this group. Yes. And to formally launch the high, we have our very first event, Own Your Throne. Yes, Own Your Throne. And so, since it's a weekend, we are hoping that you will join us there. Yes, so hurry, join the hive, and when you get in, when you get admitted, you'll get the registration form. Register ka agad because if you yes. are the first 50 registrants, you will get a welcome gift. So, hurry, get your mobile, like the page, join the group, register for Own Your Throne. Amen. So, calling all the women to join the Jewels Conference. Uh, again, share this live stream and tag your friends. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much. You are a blessing to me uh, and you're a blessing to the feast. Hope to see you next week and have a wonderful, wonderful week. May you receive God's miracle. God bless you.
Oh, fear has no hope.